If you are writing your captions manually for your YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels or TikToks, you're wasting your time. CapCut is a free tool that generates captions and subtitles automatically in seconds and it's so easy that even my grandma could do it. The clip I chose for today's example is a clip from Alex Formosi. I will put a link to the same file in the description so that you can download this video and then do all the edits and follow along with this video. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is to turn this horizontal video into a vertical video for our shorts and Instagram reels. Therefore, I just go to ratio. I click on 916, which is a format of a phone. Then as you see, I need to zoom in to make the video fit the screen. And now we apply a little bit of magic, which is we click on the lock on function, which will automatically track the face so that if the person moves a little bit, the camera will follow along. Okay, so now we have a vertical video that tracks the face and makes sure that we always stay in the middle of the screen. Now let's get over to the magic, which is the automatic captions. Therefore, before any clip is selected, I just go to the text menu. And here I click on auto captions. We can now scroll through the video and see that the captions have been automatically added for every part of the video. Now, one thing I recommend to do, especially if you have an accent or if you speak very fast, is to go through all the captions and verify that there's no mistakes generated by the AI, but usually it's very accurate. Now, once that's done, we're going to try to edit all the text at the same time. Therefore, we use a function called batch editing. To do so, we just click on one of the captions and then we click here on batch edit. What I want to do here is to make sure that there's only three to six words on the screen at any time to make it very easy to read for our short format videos. Therefore, what I do is I go here in the text and then I just hit the return key and I do this for all my frames. Once that's done, once you don't have too much text on every screen, we can now batch edit the visual part of the text. Therefore, we click again on one of the captions and then we go to style. And here we pick the style we want. In this case, to make it look like Alex from Ozzy, I like to pick the white text with the black border and the yellow text with the black border. And as a font, we use the bold font. I explained in another video exactly how to install it. Now I'm also going to increase the size to make it very easily readable. And now I'm again going to scroll through the entire video to make sure that the text doesn't over overflow on the sides. Whenever it does, I just double click on the text and then I come in and hit the return key to add an extra line. So this is the first step to adding your captions to your video. Now we're going to style it to make it look more like the big guys, like Alex Formosi, Grant Cardone, Ryan Pineda, Kevin O'Leary, etc. The first very easy way to do it is to just add yellow text on the second line. This will already make everything much more dynamic and make half of your text pop out. Therefore, just click on your captions, then click on style and then select the part you want to make yellow. And here we go, just in a few minutes, we have made a video that looks already pretty good. Now in this other video, I explained exactly how to go more in details and make your shorts really look like the ones from Alex Formosi and the other guys. So if you really want to create a short from A to Z, I recommend watching my other video. Now I'm just going to show you a second example with another video clip to make sure you understand everything and to give you extra practice material before you get started with your own shorts. For clarity purposes, I'm using my iPad, but this also works for the free versions of CapCut on your phone and on your desktop. Okay, let's now automatically add the captions to this second clip as well. I will put the link to this clip in the description so you can follow along and do exactly the same steps as I do. So again, first step is to make the video vertical. Therefore, we use 916, which is a phone format. We zoom in to fit our character on the screen. Then I use the lock on feature to lock on the camera on his face, as you'll see here, the camera really moves along, especially in this video, because he moves a bit more than in the previous one. And that way we now went from horizontal video to vertical video. And then the next step is to add the captions automatically in one click. So therefore just unselect your clip, go back to the standard menu, go to text, 
then we click on auto captions click on start and now as we see the captions have been added on the entire video again go through all of them to verify the language and spelling mistakes there shouldn't be too many on someone like Alex or Mosey, but depending on your accent, you might need to review a little bit more. Then make sure there's only three to six words at a time on each screen. Therefore, select one of the captions, click on batch edit. Wherever there's too many words, just hit the return key. Once that's done, we batch edit the style. Therefore, just click on one of the captions, click on style. Click on the white text with the black outline, increase the size, select the font. Again, we go to the added fonts and we select the bold font, which is the font used by Alex Ramosi. Resize as you need to make sure your text fits on the screen, but is readable enough. And then again, go through the text and wherever the text is too long, it's overflowing on both sides of the screens. You just double click on the text and then you hit the return key to split the text on two lines, just like so. And at the same time, you can already turn the second line into a yellow text, getting our final results. Now we can go much further in the animation of the text. In this video, I was just showing you exactly how to generate the captions very fast. I will make another video about animations of those texts, how to add sound effects. And if you already want a process to create your shorts from A to Z, you can watch this other video in which I lay out the entire process.